wrapping up the weekend here. We hope your uh, Monday is getting a little bit better. Chair Shot Rally. I am Justin Labar here in Pittsburgh, Point Park University, Center for Media Innovation. And down there in sunny, humid Florida, he is the CSR original co-host with me, Josh Eisenberg. Josh, how are you? I'm doing great. I'm double the temperature with you right now, Justin. It's tw twice as warm where I'm at. I wonder if it's because I'm here. I assume that's why. I, I, I figured you would assume such. All I'm right. hot. I'm hot, Justin. It's, it's the consensus. Well, Josh, let's do some assumptions. <laughs> let's do some assumptions on Chris Jericho and Kevin Owens. Arguably the best thing going right now on WWE programming, on any programming. Uh, first off, when does the actual breakup come? We kind of saw the teasing of it this past Monday, but hey, they also teased and swerved us two weeks ago. When does it actually happen? I think in a couple of weeks. I think you have it happen, Justin, in like two or three weeks at where? WWE Roadblock in Pittsburgh. And so here's the thing. They're the best thing going, no doubt, right? They're the best, most talented guys together. They're the funniest guys together. But when everything becomes so great, that's when you have to split it up. And that's the perfect time to do it. You saw on Monday that they were teasing it once again. You have to build this feud, build these friends, become enemies, enemies become friends at the Royal Rumble. You're going to have all these big matches, and Chris Jericho has been known to be on big cards, stealing the show in big pay-per-views. Look at his match against Triple H at WrestleMania 18. He had The Rock and Hogan. So it doesn't matter if you're going to have Goldberg and Brock Lesnar in the Royal Rumble. It doesn't matter if there's a potential Triple H coming back. I think that this feud, this, this, this feud needs to, well, it's already beginning, obviously, but it needs to split up at Roadblock, not costing the championship, but after that match happens, maybe have Jericho do something, involve himself in the celebration, and have Kevin Owens turn on Jericho. Say, I saw that I didn't need you. You saw, everybody saw that I didn't need you to beat Roman Reigns. And then that's where you develop a championship match into the Royal Rumble. Well, I tend to agree with you on the timetable. I don't know if it actually happened at Roadblock. They don't tend necessarily to do those big turns, those big splits on that show. I think Raw would be really where it develops, but I do agree. I think you have it happen here in, in, in a few weeks, uh, and then I think Royal Rumble, that's a perfect title match to have at a, at a Royal Rumble, which is already going to be anchored by you know Goldberg and Lesnar in the Rumble match, and, and if AJ Styles ends up having a, a big match. So I think that would be perfect. Let me ask you this, though. I, I've seen a lot of people ask me this on social media, and my response is normally no. But I'd be curious to uh, see where you are. Is, is Jericho Owens, obviously it's, it's, it's gold. Is it gold enough and is it worth it to try to drag it to Mania? I don't think so. Um, I, I, I love Jericho and, and everybody's loved Jericho and what he's done over the past couple of months. I mean, you think about it like this. Jericho beat AJ Styles at WrestleMania and then he kind of floundered in what he's used to being in WWE, right? He's floundering in like the mid card, a guy that, you know, has had some good matches on Raw, he's fighting guys like Sami Zayn and Neville here and there and everything, but at the end of the day, he was never a guy that is a main event championship guy at WrestleMania. He's had multiple championship matches, but I don't know if you drag that out into April. That's a long time to drag yeah. out this friendship. The only way I can think about it is if somehow, in some way, Jericho wins the Royal Rumble, and then you have February and March and potentially April to build him and Kevin Owens. I mean, that can possibly be a way, but I just, I don't see it happening. Um, I'm not even sure if Kevin Owens is gonna be Universal Champion heading into WrestleMania, and, and he might drop it in January, February. I wouldn't be against Chris Jericho actually winning the championship off of him at Royal Rumble, potentially Owens getting it back. I mean, you've seen the Women's Championship flip-flop. I don't necessarily think that Owens is an odds-on favorite of going into Mania as champion. Well, that's a great point, because that's something I was having a conversation with uh, off-air with somebody the other day, is, is WWE, is Vince McMahon going to have Kevin Owens, uh, who, as, we've all, as we know, is a little bit of an unorthodox-looking champion. I mean, certainly he's, he's, mm -hmm. he's performed and, and trumped over his looks, but is he actually going to be the guy that carries the, the title on Raw, which is still the number one show, on, on the road to WrestleMania? I, I think he will be, because I can't really see him losing it to Chris Jericho, but then again, uh, if, you're, if there's ever a time for one more run for Chris Jericho, I mean, he's, he's at the height. Of, of, yeah. of, of, of his material, at least in recent memory, at least the last five years. Well, is there a possibility that Rollins becomes champion and somehow maybe the Royal Rumble winner is on SmackDown and Triple H tries to exact his revenge and that they make that a championship match? It's very possible. I mean, that's the, with the brand split this year, whoever wins the Rumble and whatever brand they're on, you know, okay, we know what happens there, but then the other brand is left as a wild card for open bookings. That's very possible, yes. Yeah, and I think, I mean, at the time now, you Triple H going for the championship, everybody can say, like, this is more heat on Rollins, but I think, I, I still think Rollins, the, the best situation for Rollins is winning that championship at WrestleMania, but can he ever trump that big moment in San Francisco? That's my problem. He could win the championship, or he could be championship at WrestleMania, but he's already had that huge moment that's 
etched in history. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if the title is right now necessarily in front of Rollins. I think I think Rollins still has the big unfinished business, which is Triple H, and that's the match that, that they yeah. wanted to have last year, but they couldn't because Rollins was hurt. Obviously, um, you know Triple H cost Rollins months ago and has been a pest to Rollins. Uh, he and Stephanie. So that's still, I mean that to me is the match we got to have, and I don't think you even need that for a title. So again, by process of elimination, it comes back to Owens and Jericho, and it, it you know I hadn't even really thought about. Jericho winning the Rumble until you just said that, but that's another way to go if, if, if they needed to. It's going to be interesting to see how it happens here because, as you know, they kind of uh, hit the uh, fast forward in the next three, four weeks, but they have that roadblock pay per view, which is good. I like that, and I like the fact that they're going to um, have a multitude of feuds hopefully end, but I do think that December to January, you're going to see more feuds develop into the Royal Rumble than you necessarily would usually see. You never know, Justin, a guy like Braun Strowman, throw him in there, see what happens. I know you're hot on the big guy. That's, that's my dude. I'm all about the big man. That's you know your, that's, That's your, you, you love big men. I know you do. Big sweaty men, Justin. Let's get out on that. At Josh Eisenberg <laughs> 4, at Justin LaVar. Enjoy Monday Night Raw. We'll be live tweeting. We'll see you next week on Chair Shot Reality.